Uh, hello. 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 Uh, accidental tourist. That's what the town of Homer has had for the last two months, Tracy. And if the visitor who can play dead to stay alive somehow managed to avoid being captured until now, this is so fascinating. And today, Dave has the story of Grubby, the lone Homer Alaska opossum. Homer, Alaska is known for fishing, beautiful views, and now an opossum. What do you think Grubby was thinking while wandering around Homer? Like, what happened? This place is great. I think Grubby thought they died and went to heaven. This is video of Grubby when she first landed in Homer. She's a bit of a gypsy. Back in late March, she decided to leave the lower 48 for the last frontier. They're an invasive species, so they're not supposed to be in Alaska. She hitched a ride on a container ship from Washington State. Seems a bit harsh, invasive, but maybe Grubby just wanted to get away. You know, because they're so misunderstood, I definitely have a little bit of an extra weak spot for them. Like a lot of us, and just look at that face. They are a marsupial, so they have the pouch. They've got really weird teeth. <laughs> to be fair, it's hard to find a good dentist in network. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's very confusing. <laughs> well, isn't life. Lincoln here. I love possums just in general. Couldn't get enough of the migratory marsupial. I thought, well, I want to see Grubby posts every day, so I'm going to go and start my own Facebook group. This was Grubby's fan page. People posting memes like, if Talkeetna can have stubs as a mayor, Homer can have Grubby for a mayor. Um, I personally am not trying to, you know, necessarily advocate for a grubby for mayor situation. Political pontificating opossums, why not? Lincoln did say he had to delete a few recipe posts. I would have been extremely disappointed to have seen her on the rotisserie. So after almost two months on the run, the gig was up for Grubby. Social media reporting the police got her with a trash can, not quite a trash panda. Fans calling for a jailbreak for a confused Grubby, but cooler heads prevailed and Grubby took another road trip to the Alaska Zoo. Grubby is for sure at the zoo, doing well, alive and well. <laughs> Guess who's here? <laughs> Grubby! <laughs> We all scream for Grubby. Oh, and there is a bit of a name snafu. Grubby's neighbor. This is Grub the Squirrel. We call him, yeah, we call him Grub Grubbington, Grubby McGrubface. He gets, he gets all the grub things. So it's going to get a little weird, but... No weirder than a lone opossum in Alaska. Lincoln, she was here long enough to file for a PFD, I think. If I were the person in charge of reviewing her PFD application... I'm afraid I might rubber stamp it. Possum fun dividend. So Grubby fans, bring your cameras and you can catch this possible political opossum playing dead or alive now at the Alaska Zoo. And that get to see Alaska's only possum. I think that that's really exciting. The all good news. And Tracy, you had a question during the story. I did. Well, let me tell you, Grubby will live out the remainder of his life as a guest of the Alaska Zoo as an invasive species exhibit. I think that's so cool. Yeah. No word if she still has political aspirations. You never know. But Sam Levine of the zoo tells us that Grubby does love her some salmon. So, <laughs> hey, she is a true Alaska. Yep, yep, working her way here. And Grubby has her own fun. Now you can donate through the Alaska Zoo website. A little money for a little more salmon for old grubs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, one of our producers here, when they, she heard that Grubby had been caught, was like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. She's okay. We're I think glad that she's okay. Everybody's relieved. And thanks to uh, Alaska Fish and Wildlife, they, they transported her uh, all the way here the other night. So, yep. Got a new member of the zoo. Yep, yep. Uh, here's Jerika Duncan with What's Coming Up at 5 here on CBS 5.